The night is dark and full of spoilers. But why is you out here looking with a flashlight? Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. So, girl, I think it is a perfect time to discuss the rules and regulations when it comes to spoiling movies and TV shows. Let's talk about it. So before we get started, I want to tell you all that I will not be talking about spoilers in any show or movie or anything. I just want to have a conversation about spoilers. There was a tweet that came on my timeline by this guy named David who started the conversation about spoilers. So question, why is it okay to live tweet a show that people may not be able to see right now, but y'all get angry when people tweet about a movie three days later? I really would like to understand y'all double standards because both seem pretty damn annoying. And honestly, I have to be, I, I, I think it is annoying. And I, I will say this, like, yes, this is a conversation, but my opinion is that it is your duty to avoid spoilers. We live in a 24 hour news cycle. And that means that I can produce the news. Somebody else can produce the news. Everyone can produce the news who has a camera phone at this point. Like everybody has access to be able to reach a large audience without directly these people following them. And they can potentially spoil something. Now I will say this, I think this is a perfect time to talk about it because we just got through watching Game of Thrones or I just got through watching Game of Thrones. Some people didn't get a chance to see it because they were at work or they had things going on. And the same thing with Endgame. Endgame came out this weekend. It was a wrap up of 22 films. And, you know, some people didn't get a chance to see it Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, or possibly not even today, for so many reasons. But it is very hard for you to tell millions of people on social media that you are going on and logging on to to not spoil a movie or a show. It is your job to make sure that you're protecting yourself. I will give you an example. I just returned from LA Friday morning. I didn't get a chance to see Endgame Thursday night. I know I'm to go see movies like this big that afternoon as soon as it comes out. Like not even Friday, but that Thursday around six, seven o'clock, the first ticket I'm already, I already had, I've done that for every Marvel movie that's came out, I think for the last two or three years, like I go see it right then and there. And I make sure that I stay off of social media until I see it. So since this time, I didn't get a chance to see it because I was out of town and my flight didn't land to Friday morning, I did go see Endgame Friday afternoon. But I made sure to stay off of YouTube, even though that's what I do, I upload content, I create content on YouTube and on kingofreach.com and I promote it on Twitter, on Instagram and YouTube and all this stuff. So I'm using these social media stuff to promote my stuff. But I had to be, you know, um, alert that I might run into something where someone might put the ending of the movie, because I'm seeing it now, like the ending of the movie to end game is up, like two, three minutes of the movie is up later. But like, the last three minutes of the movie has been uploaded and so on and so forth. And people have talked about characters like didn't make it or whatever on social media. So I have to be understanding that I cannot tell all these people. So I need to make sure that I don't. So for media organizations and content creators, we make sure that we are protecting our, like the people who are following us and who are checking out our content. Like if I do a review for Endgame, I'm going to say, hey, I have spoilers coming ahead. I'm going to be talking about this and that. If you're not interested, click off. The same way we do for the Culture Podcast, if we're talking about Endgame or we're talking about any movie that came out or show, we make sure to tell people, hey, we don't want to be disrespectful. We appreciate you supporting us and watching us and all that type of stuff. So we don't want to like spoil something for you. So we're going to be talking about this from this time to this time so you might want to skip past it if you have not seen it see that's a, a like a, that's a kind gesture and also i want to make sure that i'm protecting the folks who are here supporting my content some people that have twitter accounts facebook accounts and instagram accounts don't care they don't have to they can post their reactions so you have to realize that it is your job to make sure that you are not running into spoilers and that's what i said in the intro like the night is dark and full of spoilers but if you're going out with a flashlight meaning you're going on social media scrolling through then you might bump into something and it's not their fault it's not their fault yes it is rude and it's unnecessary but who gets to decide what day and time we get to talk about it you talking about a million people you want millions of people to tune into your schedule when you saw the movie versus 
uh, you having the, the control to be able to put the phone down and log off of social media until you see it. Now it's different if somebody coming at the movie theater and saying, girl, what's the name snapped him and he snapped him and they was like, kaboom. Like that's a different idea. We're going to have to be kaboom. Y'all saw on the news that somebody got their butt jumped because they spoiled the movie for a moviegoer who was about to walk into the theater. So shit happens, girl, like, bitch, it's been 22 films. You don't do that to me. But you have to make sure that you are out here protecting yourself. Girl, we sound like we're talking about sex or something. But you have to make sure that you live, and that's basically the same thing. You have to make sure that when you're going out on social media and stuff, that you might run into something. Somebody might retweet something, something might be promoted, and somebody might say some stuff. Like, that's not anybody else's job but yours. It's like driving a car, sis. You driving for everybody else. You're not driving for you. You're driving for everybody else on the road. So that means that you need to have your seatbelt and you need to hop in the car, in the bus with Miss Frizzle and make sure you're taking off and blasting off again like Team Rocket away from the spoilers. That means, girl, blast your ass off on something else. Now, I guess it is rude. I'm not gonna say like, but people posting on Facebook and da da da, like, people have the, the duty to mute, block, or unfollow all these folks who do that. They can do that. But sis, you cannot be getting mad at these folks when your ass wants to be on social media. You can't have it both ways, girl. This ain't your part and you can't cry like you want to. You can't be on Facebook and mad at these folks for posting stuff. And then be like, damn. Like, girl, you on social media, take your ass off of social media. Nobody owes you anything. I will give you an example again. A couple years ago, Game of Thrones episode leaked, and one of the dragons got kapoo. Like, I saw a YouTube video before, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday, Game of Thrones had come on to Sunday. I had already knew that the show episode had leaked. So, when I looked on YouTube, there is a video of what happened in the damn show. Like, the series was laying like this, and I was like, damn, like I saw that he had transformed into something else. Like this was blue eyes, white dragon. So I'm like, now that I know what is going on, do I watch it or do I just wait? And at that point, I didn't want anybody else to ruin it for me. So I found the leaked version online and I went and watched it because I just didn't want to wait and see more stuff. Like I wanted anticipation and all that other stuff. I wanted to feel it. Like this episode of, um, you know, the long night on Game of Thrones, it was everything to me. And I didn't want anybody to ruin it for me. I saw a couple of clips on YouTube of folks talking about something. I leaked script and that. I made sure I stayed away from all of that because I did not want it to ruin. Now, when we're talking about specifically David's tweet about um, movies versus TV shows, I would say TV shows are different and I don't really think uh, you can compare a TV show to a movie because I can watch a TV show damn near anywhere. I can watch it in the bathroom, in the kitchen, I can watch it right here, I can watch it in my bedroom, living room, I can watch it on the go while I'm on my way to work, leaving on the flight, all of that if I download it. A movie is different. I have to walk into a theater, I have to first make sure that I can even get a ticket because it might be sold out, and I have to go in here and take time out, get to this place and, da -da -da and make it happen. It's not the same thing as a TV show. So I think there is some type of precedence when it comes to TV shows like that what happens. And and honestly, these people who produce these shows want us to talk about it on social media to get that engagement and get people interested. And the same thing with their hashtags for um, loving hip hop or for um, you know all these other shows like what was it with the um, Big Brother and all these other stuff. They want us to engage because that's how they make money. Like people gonna be talking about the show and interested in it. But we can watch that anywhere. But it's your job, just like sometimes stuff comes out, majority of the shows and stuff come on on East Coast time zone and it's way before West Coast. So West Coast said, girl, we ain't, like when Shonda Rhimes dropped her show with the, um, <laughs> I ain't gonna drag Shonda Rhimes, but she dropped her shows and stuff. Like, West Coast said, girl, all right, I'll see y'all at 9 o'clock. I'll see y'all later on tonight, like 11 o'clock y'all time, because I want to make sure that I watch Grey's Anatomy and y'all don't spoil anything. Like, anytime, like, Shonda Land, girl, she be dropping stuff. Like, I've always seen West Coast say, girl, I don't want to hear East Coast talking about this shit, so we're going to log off for a couple of minutes, and we're going to come back. 
And knowing that is like, that's the work. Like you have to make sure there's too many things out for anything for, for you to be getting shit spoiled. Like your ass might need to just log off of social media. If you're not getting paid to be on social media, like if you're not, if your job is not like producing content or um, promoting stuff for a company on social media or like you're the media manager or something, then you like since log your ass off. So I want to know what you all think. I gave my opinions on how I feel about spoilers and you know how to avoid them and who fault it is I want to know what you think is it your job to avoid spoilers do you think it's realistic for you expect millions of people to not spoil something for you when you can just put the phone down or do you think everybody should have 72 hours and oh, before they talk about a movie or something let me know and who is making up these rules and who is enforcing them let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you later on tonight bye period peach period